गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आज हम करेंगे इमेजरी इन क्लियर लाइट ऑफ डे यूनिट फाइव है लेट स्टार्ट नाउ वट लेंड्स अ रिचनेस टू द साइज नॉवल इज ह पावरफुल यूज यूज ऑफ इमेजरी नेचर विच इंक्लूड्स एनिमल्स प्लांट्स एंड बर्ड्स हैज़ अ स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रेजेंस इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल हर वर्कस नोन इन इंडिया इंडियन इंग्लिश फिक्शन फॉर अशरिंग इन द साइकोलॉजिकल नावल नावल Uh, Desai uses external landscapes to portray interior states of mind. Now, uh, Desai's clear light of day abounds in all sorts of imagery. The novel begins with the quails singing. सबसे पहले हमने ये पढ़ा भी था. Their voices rang out from the dark trees like an arrangement of bells, calling and echoing each other's calls. More and more joined. in joined in as the sun rose and ends with mulks guru singing the poetry of iqbal sayyid imanuddin notes that between the singing of the quails and the musical rendering of iqbal's poetry we have the scratches and squeaks of old records these scratches and squeaks are the tensions and problems of a family and a nation breaking up the st- uh, the sandstorm raging at the opening of part 4 is um, telling about the emotional st- storm in the da sisters in clear light of day through the memory and recall desai brings out the inner repression of her character she lays their feelings and emotions bare to us hame batati hain wo feelings and emotions ke bare mein The animal imagery in her novel is suggestive of the core of her characters. For example, people listening to Mulk's song are like queen pigeons. When Baba ventures out to the main road and returns soon after, he is described as a thirsty dog. तो इसमें एक जसबीर जैन है उन्होंने बोला था कि Uh, बोला है कि देर आर अदर इमेज एंड साउंड एंड लेवल्स द कॉपर स्मिथ्स इन द गार्डन ऑफ द क्रिकेट्स कीपिंग बेम एंड बाबा कंपनी आफ्टर राजाज डिपार्चर ऑफ अ डॉग पाउंसिंग ऑन अ फ्ली ऑफ द बीज अटैकिंग बेम ऑफ मैनास क्वारलिंग एंड पीजन्स बिगिनिंग टू मटर कम्फर्टेबली टू ईच अदर इन द वेरेंडा कितनी सारी इमेज हैं ना The world of the novel is a world which is quite comfortable with the world of nature and interacts with it with a fair amount of ease. The two most significant episodes in the novel, the drowning of the cow and the attack by the bees, have to do with animals and nature. The well and the cow drowning in it occurs in both. वेयर शेल वी गो दिस समर ये इनका एक नावल है एंड क्लियर लाइट ऑफ डे इन वेयर शेल वी गो दिस समर सीताज फादर ये किसी और नावल की बात हो रही है जिसमें सीता एक करेक्टर है सीताज फादर हैड गॉट द वेल ड्राई फॉर द आइसलैंडर्स बट लेटर काओ फेल एंड डायर इन इट इन क्लियर लाइट ऑफ डे इट वॉज मीरा मासी हु सजेस्टिड टू मिसिस दास द नोशन ऑफ कीपिंग अ काओ so that the children could have fresh milk one day it drowned in the well and mira masi felt very guilty about it the memory of this cow lingers on in the minds of das children the drowning of the cow symbolizes mira masi's own loss of control over herself as it also signifies a new phase in the lives of the chil- das children because its drowning is simultaneous with the death of the parents and the distinct disintegration of the family cow ke manne ke baad hi parents ki death ho jati hai aur family jo hai disintegrate ho jati hai now as jp tripathi bolte hain ki most haunting among the images in the novel is that of the well which becomes a symbol of death and a blind alley <coughs> the cow was drowned in it and never taken out so it becomes a symbol of uh, nausea nausea also the symbolic meaning is brought brought out in the following words the novel of the world it was 
secret and hidden in thick folds of grass, from which they all emerged, and to which they must return, crawling to their on their hands and knees. It is thus associated with the cosmic system of death and destruction. The image is often involved and is associated with bottomless darkness and stench, stench, smell, है ना? It is also associated with ghosts and spirits. अच्छा फिर से हम स्टार्ट करते हैं ये मीन्स जो इन्होंने बोला जे पी त्रिपाठी ने यह फिनिश हो जाता है इंटरेस्टिंगली दिस आई ना ये है इंटरेस्टिंगली दिस आई कलेस द वाइट हॉर्स ऑन विच अली इज फर्स्ट क्लिम्सड एट विद द काउ तो कलेस मीन्स यूनाइट किया गया है हॉर्स एंड काउ दोनों को दोनों की इमेजरी एक हॉर्स भी बताया गया है इसमें द वाइट हॉर्स रिप्रेजेंट्स द ग्लैमर ऑफ इंडियाज मुगल पास्ट इट इज दिस इमेज दैट इंस्पायर्स राजा टू बिकम लाइक अली लेटर वी आर टोल्ड दैट राजा सन गेट्स अ वाइट पोनी एज अ गिफ्ट फ्रॉम हिम द बी एपिसोड वेन बीम वॉज अटैक्ट बाय द बीज एंड द तारा अबंडंड हर एंड एस्केप्ड इज रिकॉल्ड बाय तारा सेवरल टाइम्स इन द नावल Her escape from the attack of bees is a prelude to her escape through the marriage to Bakul from family responsibilities. Light shade imagery, light and shade imagery is important in clear light of day. Light is associated with going out and freedom. When Baba teases Tara for saying that nothing has changed in the morning in the Das household, she says, "Ah, uh, but you won't. Ah, uh, but you wouldn't want to return." to life as it used to be would you still frowning tara murmured meaninglessly prefer to what oh to going on to going up living going away into the world something wider freer brighter bim laughed <coughs> light is also associated with affection it is clear light of day that bim realizes how she could make her alienated self connected again the bright light of day cut into her temples leaving a wake of pain she opens herself in the light of affection there was nothing left in the life of a way in the in the way of a barrier or a shadow only the clear light pouring down from the sun they might be floating in the light okay chalo ye finish ho jata hai ab इसमें एनिमल इमेजरी लाइट इमेजरी बहुत कुछ है ओके थैंक यू सो मच नेक्स्ट वीडियो में हम लोग दास नेबर्स के बारे में पढ़ेंगे अलीज एंड मिश्रास के बारे में थैंक यू सो मच